Okay, and this lesson is called Swiper Configuration in My Crypto Pay Part 2. Okay, in the previous lesson, we set up our merchant account. You can see that indicated here in the site setup progress. The coordinator is connected, and it now needs to be living at the car wash, plugged into the internet. And now you can see that it says swiper present, yes. So you've plugged in a swiper, and it's now time to configure it. Okay, so it says crypto pay device. Your swiper has a unique ID number. Please uh, note that ID number and where you installed that swiper, for example, Bay1, VAC1, and so forth. And when you're ready, click on Config. We're going to configure now the swiper. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to name it. You can name it something like Bay1, Bay2, Vacuum1, Vacuum2, and so forth. So we're going to name it Bay1. The profile of the swiper, the way they ship, is they ship in an out-of-service mode. And you can notice that because the LED light bar is flashing yellow. That indicates it's out of service, and it will not accept a credit card in an out-of-service mode. So you're going to select one of the following profiles. Countdown coin. You can see over on the, on the right some additional details. Is for timers that take a coined pulse on their coin input. If that's your timer, that's the profile you select. Countdown card is for Dixmore timers that have advanced credit card features allowing you to use a credit card input on the timer. Count up is also for Dixmore timers that are enabled with the advanced credit card feature. You could put your timer your swiper, excuse me, in an out-of-service mode. And you can do that at any time if you maybe are working on a bay or a vac and you um, want the swiper out of service while you're doing that. When you're satisfied with this profile, go ahead and select it. Your purchase type, we're going to go ahead and select wash. The rate, uh, we're going to go ahead and set for 30 seconds per coin. This is very, um, <clears throat> excuse me, similar to setting up your timer. We've selected 30 seconds per coin. Our min charge has been set to a dollar. We're going to set the max to ten dollars. If you have selected, when you set up your merchant account, the ability to accept American Express, you'll want to say yes here. And if you have not added that during your uh, account setup, you're going to select no. And we're going to go ahead and select no. Okay, the button option is how many pulses the swiper will give to the timer when you press the stainless steel button on the CryptoPay swiper. That can be set anywhere from 0 to 8 pulses. We're going to set it to 1. I want to highlight the note on the bottom that says it will take a few minutes for these changes to take effect on site. And before we click on Apply Changes, let's go ahead and just confirm our options we have set up. And when we have that confirmed, we will click on Apply Changes. If you make a mistake, and you need to reconfigure your swiper, you could do that at any time. Okay, so the swiper is now at the car wash. You've applied 24 volts AC to the swiper. The coordinator is at the car wash and plugged into the internet. And through the CryptoPay wireless network, and this program, my CryptoPay, you are able to configure your swiper. Okay, after confirming the changes, let's click on Apply Changes. All of this is also covered in the Quick Start Guide that shipped with the product. Okay, we're confirming the changes. 
The previous configuration is on the left. The new configuration is on the right. Please verify that all that is correct. And the notes at the bottom simply say again that the changes will be effective within minutes, that the changes are applied. Of course, you want to double check that this is the changes you want. And then when you're ready, um, check the box that says, I understand these changes will become effective, and then apply the changes. This will reconfigure your CryptoPay swiper. Your final testing will be swiping a card and making sure that the swiper and the timer are configured correctly. To view the purchase from your test, it will take two hours after your swipe. So for now, just make sure that the pulses from the swiper go to the timer and that the timer does what you expect it to do. Okay, that is the uh, swiper configuration using my CryptoPay. We're double checking our configuration. You can see that Bay 1 is now configured. Do this for the rest of your CryptoPay swipers.